In this video, you will learn how easy it is to bake sourdough bread at the lake or camping in the mountains or in your backyard. Really, anywhere you can use charcoal briquettes. But first, I need to set up my backyard for this demonstration. Hi, I'm Ron and thank you for clicking on this video. If you're not already a subscriber to my YouTube channel, please take a moment to click the subscribe button and notification bell. I would really appreciate it. Today I'm baking sourdough bread with charcoal briquettes in my backyard. Actually, it's my third attempt and hopefully you can learn from my mistakes as well as my successes. I will not be demonstrating the important steps of making sourdough but there are several other videos on my YouTube channel that will teach you about the necessary ingredients. And for those interested, at the end of this video, I will share with you how you can obtain some of my very own sourdough starter that I use nearly every day. Also at the end, I will summarize what I've learned and tried to demonstrate in this video. Okay then, let's begin. The first time I baked bread, I placed a ring of 8 briquettes on the bottom, and on the top I placed 30 briquettes forming 2 rings. Here's my first loaf. Although the internal temperature did reach 200 degrees, the sourdough bread did not raise as much as I would have liked, and I would have preferred a darker crust. It was, however, very delicious. For my second attempt, I doubled the briquettes on the bottom from 8 to 16 and increased the top from 30 to 39. And the result was spectacular. Believe me, this sourdough bread tasted as good as it looks. Now, in my third attempt, come along as I demonstrate the steps to produce this amazing bread and at the end summarize everything I learned. I used this charcoal chimney to light my briquettes using some paper, a paper towel with oil on it from cleaning a cast iron skillet earlier today, and some lint from my clothes dryer. Here's a close up view of the same thing. The briquettes are heated and it's time to bake the bread. I'm going to move the Dutch oven out of the way so you can better see how I arrange the 16 briquettes on the bottom. When baking bread, it's important not to place any briquettes under the Dutch oven, otherwise the bottom of the bread will burn. Instead, place the briquettes under the outside edge of the Dutch oven. Actually, my circle of 16 briquettes should have been a bit wider. The 
bread will rise highest from the center of the loaf, so it's important to move the briquettes to the outside edge as much as possible, again to prevent burning the top of the bread. My sourdough was made yesterday and has been in the fridge overnight. I use these wicker baskets to hold my sourdough, but any bowl will do. Also, I use this silicone pad to place the sourdough into the Dutch oven, but parchment paper can also be used. Into the Dutch oven, the sourdough will go for 45 minutes. I have always used this Dutch oven dome cover to retain heat but I'm not absolutely certain it's necessary. It's been 45 minutes. Let's see if the charcoal briquettes and Dutch oven have done their magic. Oh my, that bread is beautiful and it smells amazing. I'll check the internal temperature to see if it reached 200 degrees. And it did. Perfect. This picture is of the second loaf I baked. The third loaf I baked, the one I baked today, was cooling on a rack when the pest control guy came to my house for the pest control treatment I had scheduled. When he saw the sourdough bread I baked today, he asked if I had baked it. I assured him I had and gave him a buttered slice. He said it was the best bread he had ever eaten. And so I gave him the entire loaf, forgetting to first take a picture. Before I summarize, let me tell you how you can get some of my sourdough starter as I promised at the beginning of this video. Simply indicate in the comment section below this video that you're interested in receiving some of my sourdough starter and I'll reply. Now, to share what I learned in this video, I used a 12 inch deep Dutch oven and it performed perfectly. I think a 10 inch deep also would work, but of course a 10 inch deep would use fewer briquettes. I used 16 briquettes on the bottom, but I think 14 would be better. The bottom of my bread on the last two loaves was just a smidgen darker than I like. Likewise, I would use 36 to 38 on top. Thank you again for watching this video and make it a great day.